Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the last problem of lead code weekly contest 351. Uh, yeah, it's a hard level problem. I would rate it a little bit easier than the other hard level problems that you get. Okay, because we have got similar problems in the past contest as well. So let's see what the problem is asking us to do. The problem name is robot collisions. Okay, so there are n one index robots each having a position on a line health and movement direction. Okay. You are given zero indexed integer array positions, health and a string directions, which is either L, which represents that the robot is moving left or R, which represents that the robot is moving right. Okay. All integers in positions are unique. Okay. Now, all robots start moving on the same line simultaneously at the same speed in their given directions. If two robots ever share the same position while moving, they will collide. If two robots collide, the robot with lower health is removed from the line and the health of the other robot decreases by one. The surviving robot continues in the same direction in which it was going. Okay. If both the robots have the same health, they both they both are removed from the line. Okay. Your task is to determine the health of the robots that survive the collision in the same order that the robots were given. That is final health of the robot one if survived, final health of the robot to if survived and so on okay if there are no survivors return an empty array return an array containing the health of the remaining robots in the order they were given okay again the same thing repeated the positions may be unsorted okay so a big problem statement let's see what it is trying to say right it says that you have some robots okay each robot has some initial position and some health okay and each robot is either moving left or moving right right someone moving right some moving left okay now, whenever two robots collide, what happens? As soon as two robots collide, if they have the same length, both of them get destroyed. However, if their health is different, then what happens? The robot with the with the length uh, with the with the health which is less, right? Uh, that robot dies, and the other robot which has relatively higher health, that health is decreased by one. Okay. The health is suppose there is a robot moving in right direction with health 10 and there is a robot with uh, you know a health 5 moving in left direction if these both collide 5 dies and this 10 decreases to 9 simple that is what the problem is asking us to do now what we have to do we have to tell that what is what is the final health of all the robots right when they have finished their collision with each other right that's what the problem is asking us to do there are some things to note and those things are that the positions right these positions can be unsorted okay these can be unsorted just see the positions now what does this mean this means that the first robot is at position 5 the health of that robot is 2 and it is moving in right direction similarly second robot is at 4 okay the health is 17 and moving in right direction and so on so just see all the robots are moving in right direction with the same speed because the speed of all the robots are same so ultimately they they will never collide hence the final health will remain same what is that health it is 217 9 15 and 10 getting it why this is the order because this actually represented the first robot so that is at first position second robot at second position and so on right it says that return an array containing the health of the remaining robots in the same order they were given in the input okay so that is how let's come to the second example here the first robot it, it is at position 3 health is 10 moving in right direction right the second robot is at index 5 moving in left direction having a health 10 the third robot basically is at 2 health 15 moving in right direction and the last robot position 6 health 12 moving in left direction so let's see what happens right now this is moving in right this is moving in left these both will collide now when this both these two robots will collide the health of this robot is 10 this robot is 10 they will collide and they will cancel each other forget about this these two are gone now this is also moving in right direction this is also moving this is moving in left direction right so ultimately these two will also co collide when these two collide what happens the health of this robot is 15 the health of this robot is 12 this will die and the health of this will be decreased to 14 now this is the only robot this robot will not collide with anyone so hence 14 is your answer because this is the the only remaining robot has a health of 14 okay let's come to the last one here again the same configuration right positions 1 2 5 6 health 10 10 11 11 uh, moving in right direction moving in left direction same health cancels out moving in right direction left direction same health cancels out 
simple this is what we need to do right let's see the constraints so the number of robot that you can have is 10 raised to power 5 health can be 10 raised to power 9 directions will always be left and right and all the values all the positions are distinct now this is something that i missed because of that i added an extra you know uh, loop in my um, what do you call it solution so you can just avoid it you can just avoid it i missed it so you can basically avoid it and add all the robots i'll tell you that okay now let's come to the let's come to the intuition part okay now what are the configuration of two robots right suppose i have two robots uh, yeah just a second yeah i have two robots robot one robot two what are the configurations so the possibilities are maybe both the robots are moving in left direction maybe both the robots are moving in right direction right maybe the first one is moving in right the second one is moving in left and the fourth configuration is first one moving in left second one moving in right right now since the speed is same this configuration is of no use both moving in left they will never collide similarly these two both moving in right they will never collide what about this one guy moving here one guy moving here right and also remember when i'm considering robot one and robot two that means that this guy is standing at a position which is uh, on the left hand side of robot two that means if there is a number line i consider two robots then robot one is standing on the left hand side of robot two okay because i need to sort based on positions right so this is not gone this is gone this is also gone because if this moves left this moves right they will never collide the only configuration when two robots will collide is when the robot on the left hand side in this case r1 is moving in right direction and robot on the right hand side in this case r2 is moving in the left hand direction right this is the only configuration right first thing done now the second thing even to work with this configuration what do i need i need the robots to be processed in you know increasing order of their positions what do i mean by this if this is my number line the positions initially the positions are not sorted right five four three two one and any random value right so i can just sort the positions of the robots right and i start processing from here okay now if this guy if this guy is moving left okay go you'll never collide with anyone right suppose what about this guy if it is also moving left okay this guy will also never collide what about this if this is moving right okay if this is moving right then i need to check what's the configuration of the next robot if this is moving right no collusion however if this is moving left okay if this is moving left then these two will collide and one of them will survive again based on the condition that i just told you right now what are the possibilities the possibilities are when these two collide if this guy survives obviously with a decreased health then this guy will continue moving in the right hand direction okay so that means this is gone but i'll have to take consideration take take into consideration this robot on contrary to this if this guy is removed and this left survives then i have to take care of all the robots here right now they are moving in left direction but what i mean to say is whoever survives i need to keep a track of that obviously with a decreased tilt, right so ultimately you just see two robots collide when they are in adjacent positions right when they are in adjacent positions so what will happen suppose the configuration is something like this that two of my robots are moving in right direction and one is moving in left direction okay again the positions are sorted suppose this is 4 this is 10 this is 50 something like this okay now what will happen when these two collide if this guy survives this is gone then this guy can collide with this as well right this right as well so that is why every time adjacent elements will collide and to keep a track of this i need a you know data structure which, which can you know uh, tell me that okay what is the most recent robot here which you have processed and let's process it with the current robot right i am iterating my array based on positions now what is the configuration till now what are the survivors till now and what about the current robot so a typical use case of a stack right a typical use case of a stack you take a stack you add your robots like this that if this guy is moving left okay the next guy is moving right this guy is moving left so obviously this left and the topmost robot is right that means in this case the rightmost robot these two will collide so either this will survive or this will survive again i'll add that in my stack right getting it because as i told you the configuration right right left what will happen these two collide and again these two collide okay so that's why so the only two things that we need to take care of is that we need to sort the positions and obviously to keep a track of you know what are the adjacent robots i can use a stack so that is what i have done here 
this solution may look big but again it is not at all complex it's just that uh, you know we, we we name everything properly and all that that is why we are doing it right if the if the logic is clear i would encourage you guys to code it yourself right uh, because everyone has a different way to code and again this was a contest i coded what i was able to code fast maybe this is not not, not the most optimal one right the complexity will be same for the most optimal solution as well but again the the solution could differ right so this is my answer array okay this is the robot now this robot mean i am just adding the indices because i have to return the answer based on the order in which the robots were provided so i need to keep a track of indices as well so instead of robot i should have named it robot index okay but no worries this is the number of robots i have now again you can skip it you can skip it actually what i have done here i i missed the part that all the positions are unique and in the problem statement it says that just see this line uh all the robots moving at in the same direction two robots why yeah at yeah this if both robots have same health they will be removed from the line right so i thought what if two robots start from the same position so because of that only because of that edge case i did that you can remove it okay now what i've done here by the way what i was doing is i was seeing that for each position how many robots are standing there right so while adding the robot indices in my list i was seeing if for this position i have more than one robots skip it because both the robots since they are standing at the same position they'll collide and they'll die okay but in short you can add all the robot indices now just sort it okay now just sort it based on what i said positions right based on positions you sort the robots so the indices will be sorted right this is a good way to sort the elements right instead of creating a custom class where you have position health index and direction you can just sort the indices and you can say that okay if i have two indices sort those indices based on the position of the array okay done now the positions are in ascending order now i take a stack i start process my robots okay what is the current robot index robots dot get i what is the previous robot index now just to take keep a track of this i have just uh, what, what do you call it i've just initialized the value okay should add is a boolean variable i've taken i'll tell you why okay now while stack is not empty why because maybe the current element is suppose current robot is moving in a direction right and that robot and the topmost robot collide and this guy dies now this robot will collide with the second top as well because this is the new top right so that is why while you keep on moving till collision stops for this robot okay so now what will happen if stack is not empty stack dot pop you know pull the topmost element topmost index topmost uh, uh, robot index okay now what's the previous direction direction dot care at previous robot index now just see what has happened my indices are sorted i can directly access all the arrays to get the direction so direction dot care this is the index of that robot okay i mean this is the this is the direction of that robot because i know the index what's the previous health again health of previous robot index what's the current direction direction dot caret correct uh, current robot index now you must be thinking i have done it here also and here also why i am doing it because it's a while loop right so i'll be updating the values afterwards so that is why okay current health is also health of current robot index now in which configuration two robots can collide if the robot which i am processing is moving left and the topmost robot in the stack is moving right then only they collide so current direction is left previous direction is r if both of them have the same health you just break the loop both of them will die and now movement will stop till now okay and should add will become false so should add is just a variable i have taken that uh, do i need to add the current robot index in the stack or not right again i can say again I, i'll say you can write it in another way also okay, also okay now what are the other cases if the robot that i'm processing the health of that robot is more than the uh, topmost robot so what will happen what will happen that this robot will die the topmost robot will die and obviously i popped it from the stack the health of the current robot will decrease or else the health of the previous robot will decrease okay now just see here if the topmost robot survives then what will happen the current robot index will change because current robot is basically that with which robot i am checking all the other robots right in these stacks so that is why this will modify this will be updated okay else if this is not the configuration that means there will there will be no collision stack dot add previous robot index why i am adding it because as soon as i entered the while loop i popped it now if i have processed it right if there was a condition where this robot died i just broke the loop right i just skip the loop right but if this is not the configuration you just add it back right because that is not needed right you just add it back and that is why i have done it 
Now again the same thing will happen. You'll go here. Uh, you'll come here, and again you'll check the topmost guy. You'll you'll compare it with the current robot index. Now maybe there was a chance that the current robot index has updated, but again that will be taken care in the code. Ultimately the logic should be clear, right? Implementation can vary. Okay. Now at last if I should add the current robot, I'll add it. So the stack takes care of everything. Now robots dot clear. What I've done is now I'll, my stack will contain all the robots which have stopped colliding. They are moving, but they'll not collide anymore. So robots dot add stack dot pop. Basically, what I'm adding, I am adding the indices of the robots who have survived. Now again, sort that array based on the index indices. Okay, <laughs> this can vary on the language again, as I said. So uh, whichever index is less, that should come before, right? Because I have to return the answer based on the indices. And finally. Uh, whatever whatever indices you have answer dot add had health of robots dot get i okay because you need to return the length of the uh, sorry health of the remaining robots right see just i'm updating the health there itself right so yeah that's it for the solution i hope the logic is clear implementation can vary as i've been saying throughout the video right so i hope you learn something new from this video do support it by giving up thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well in case you have any issues related to this solution or any queries related to this problem, let me know in the comment section. I'll revert on each one of them. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.